Hello everyone! Today we are going to make an eggless sponge cake. I will be using yogurt as an egg substitute and the ingredients required will be listed towards the end of the video. Now let's start mixing the batter. First add a heaped cup of powdered sugar. Uh, you can sieve it in order to avoid the lumps in the sugar powder. Now we can add a cup of yogurt and this is going to be the egg substitute for our cake. The thicker the yogurt, the better it is going to be. Next wet ingredient to be added is the cooking oil. You can add canola oil, corn oil or even some flour oil. I have used corn oil here. Any flavorless oil can be used, doesn't matter. Now you need to add the flavoring essence. I have used vanilla essence. If you want to make a mango cake instead of vanilla essence, in the same quantity you can use a mango essence or if you want a strawberry sponge, you can use a strawberry essence. Now just mix it with a spatula or a whisk. You need not use a beater because you have used yogurt so it is better not to use a beater. A whisk is enough or even just mix it with spatula. Just make sure that you are just mixing it well so that there are no lumps. Now we need to prepare the dry ingredients, add baking powder and baking soda to the flour and now we will sieve the flour along with other dry ingredients so that everything is going to be lump free and just we need to mix it well slowly fold in with the help of a spatula or a whisk till you get a flowy consistency. Flowy consistency in the sense it is not going to be very flowy just like your normal egg cakes. This is going to be eggless so your flour, your batter will be a little bit thick but still it will be having a running consistency. Transfer the batter to a cake tin. I am using a spring foam pan because I need to use a sponge later on for making mousse. So you can use it on any cake pan but make sure you are tapping the pan on the counter after you add the batter just to let the air bubbles escape so that your cake will rise nicely and it will become fluffy and soft. Now keep your cake tin inside a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. After it is completely baked, take it out and just insert a clean toothpick and just like you do always and if it comes out cleanly that means your cake is perfect now for cutting. But Make sure you wait till the cake cools down completely and right now I am using a cake slicer and I am slicing it so that half the cake I am using for making my mousse. Please do try this super easy moist and soft sponge cake and these are the ingredients. Have a quick knot of it and do try it. Bye bye.